Great. So, Kit, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us in the DevNet zone. This is an awesome opportunity to hear more. So, Kip, you're the strategy, driving the strategy for Cisco Networking. Um, you know, let us know, why are we prioritizing API quality? What's, what's the deal with developers? Well, it's great, great to be here with you, Anna, and, and uh, DevNet. It's always so great to come to the DevNet zone, each Cisco Live. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, do, I drive the strategy for Cisco Networking, which is you know, a big part of Cisco, the majority of our products. Mm -hmm. um, and Jonathan just announced this morning on, on, in his keynote the Cisco Networking Cloud. And right. that's a huge part of our strategy going forward. And we talked a lot about the customer benefits of Cisco Networking Cloud, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you that one of the key considerations driving our strategy is actually developers. Um, and we recognize more and more of our customers are using the APIs. Um, I had a great experience recently at a, a EBC with a, a customer who uses our Meraki uh, platform, and we were talking about how great the user interface is, and, and they actually stopped me and said, we don't actually use Meraki dashboard. And I was, what? I was worried. You know? right? <laughs> and, uh, uh, and what they then said though is, we just use the APIs. And I think we're seeing That's more great. and more of that, and it's critical. Yep. And as you know, J Jonathan announced our strategy, our vision behind Cisco Networking Cloud, that involves bringing more and more of our platforms together. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of the things we've heard from developers is the fact that we have a lot of different platforms with different API mechanisms, whether it's the authentication, sure. or the namespace, or the semantics is challenging because they are trying to deliver end-to-end -end solutions just like our customers are buying end-to-end -end infrastructures from us. Right. Um, and so we really think this is a great opportunity to bring things together and simplify things for our developers and give them a bigger platform that they can address with their applications. I love to hear that. So yeah, in Insider Baseball, I manage the developer experience teams here. So of course that's spot on because we do have the API quality efforts within our org. Um, so it makes total sense, right? We're working with the engineering teams. Um, you know, has anything, you know, been surprising about working with engineering or how have they responded? I, I, I've seen a wonderful response from Cisco engineers. What's your take? Yeah, no, that, that's what I've seen as well. And, and, and by the way, as you've said, like we announced the strategy this morning, mm -hmm. we've been focused on making things better for our developers for, for years now. Absolutely. And, and so this is an ongoing effort. Um, and you know, I think what's been kind of exciting for me is to watch some of our teams. You know, traditionally some of our products didn't lend themselves to APIs, but as we've right. modernized those products, it's become important. And then those teams learn about APIs. Mm -hmm. A lot of times working with your team yep. um, and, and from customers and developers, but they start to realize, oh wait, this is like a whole nother dimension to the customer relationship. And right. we're a super customer focused company. We are. So mm -hmm. that really motivates them. And so it's amazing to watch them go into that process, start to realize they need to think API first, start to change their culture. Yes. And then what's really exciting is when they start seeing the benefits. When they start hearing back from developers, they start seeing some of the applications that are being built on top of our products, it's you just fantastic. see the teams kind of light up and yeah. move forward. I, I think that's why we've seen so much enthusiasm from the product teams. Yeah, yeah. And the numbers are great. I mean, Meraki's been kind of our poster child, I guess, for uh, API quality. And you know, just watching their their base grow, watching how they're handling more and more API calls, like that just makes us feel good too. So oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great part of uh, partnering on this. Well, well I'm actually, a, I actually use the Meraki APIs myself. To oh, write, I good. don't write software for Cisco, but I yep. write software as a, a hobby and I've done ah, some things with yeah, my uh, uh, Meraki networks and uh, yeah. I love the uh, Meraki API experience is yeah. uh, fantastic. Yeah, are you a home networking yes. like automation? I, I yeah. do have a ho home network that's Meraki based. Oh, that's a fantastic, I love that, I love that. I'm more into the WebEx APIs, like they're super simple, straight, straightforward, uh, super easy to use, so Very I've been cool. having fun with those, yeah, yeah. So, do you have advice for a technical leader uh, who might be just starting this journey? Um, or maybe they're like, look, I've got these old APIs, that's the journey we've been on, right? How, you know, how can we start now? Yeah. So any advice? It's yeah. a great question, and I think, I think that's, that's the right way to think about it. Is, is, mm -hmm. is it a new product or an existing one? On a new product side, it's API first, and, and the analogy I've made with some of our internal teams is, we know at Cisco that we have to build in security from the beginning. Mm -hmm. you, you can't add security to a product. No, right. okay? It has to be in the architecture. We have a security architectural baselines and other things that mm -hmm. are part of our development process. We've mm -hmm. started now to bring API first into our development process and into yes. the various approvals and things that we do as we're designing a product, yeah. because we really want to design that API capability and think about the developer from the very beginning of the empathy. product development process. And yeah. that's what gives us the best outcome. So for sure, that's the advice for the, the, the technical leader with the new project. Yeah. 
then I have somewhat con seemingly conflicting or inconsistent advice for the one who has an existing product, okay. which is, okay, you know no, what? I... Don't let perfect be the enemy of great. That because is frankly, yeah. uh, if you listen to developers and you look at the product, yeah, maybe we would do it differently if it was a sheen, clean sheet of paper, mm -hmm. but there's almost always amazing things you can do to create quick wins and value yeah. for our developers. Yeah. And so yeah. we've really been encouraging those teams, like look, let's get wins, let's make yep. this easier for developers, let's listen to developers, let's improve our products, let's make things consistent. But the products that we're starting up, starting now mm -hmm. and have been starting recently make them API first from day one. That's yeah, that's spot on. That's spot on. And I think you know API first for Cisco has been a real journey. But I think that teams are getting it. And like you say, teams are very developer developer focused, very customer focused. They want the outcomes. They want to see the cool stuff people absolutely. make. Absolutely. So yeah. So absolutely. Uh, you know, keep that stuff coming uh, if you're if you're watching. Um, any other last thoughts for no, uh, just, Cisco Live? Or this is APR great. Or, I appreciate yeah. the chance to talk about this and. Uh, yeah. This is just very important. You know, it, it, it's important to our customers. It's important to our strategy, and Absolutely. and that's why you're seeing us prioritize it and, and drive it forward. Yeah, and it's so great to see it on the big screen. So absolutely, yeah, great talking to you, Kip. Thanks great so much. Great talking to you.